Hi, welcome to Brick Tree Gallery. I'm really delighted today to be joined by Jo from Harry and the Beagle. Hello. Hi Jo, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. So, based in Keelby, which is near Grimsby, I've got an upholstery workshop and there we tend to reupholster other people's furniture but we also do commissions and occasionally things like this where we've taken or we've found or been given a piece of furniture which we can reupholster. So that's one of the things that I absolutely love about your business you talk about yourself as a reupholsterer. Absolutely yeah yeah we say we like to save things from the tip yeah. especially um, and like I say this is a piece that we were given because it was going to it was going to be thrown away otherwise so I just thought it can absolutely go to use and to reupholster is to bring something back to life yes and stop mass production if we possibly can absolutely and what's wonderful about this is that you're also now re-gifting it so if you just like to tell me um what are your plans for this chair and why um so having taken part in the creative freedom project yeah I was quite inspired at <clears throat> The fact that these rooms in the refuge were going to be made more welcoming and I just wanted to further enhance that if I possibly could in any way. And when I got this chair, I collaborated with a local artist who's new to the artistry game, if you okay. like. Okay, wow. Um, and he designed this fabric, so it's absolutely unique. It's bespoke. Um, and it's really nice deep pile velvet as well. It's really soft to the touch and we just thought... Like I say, this chair was gifted to us because it was going to go in the bin otherwise. Yes. And I thought, why can't it go to the refuge and just bring a little bit of comfort? And even if it ends up being one of those chairs that clothes are thrown on in there, that's fine. It just brings some colour and a bit of vibrance. It's a wonderful and incredibly kind gesture. Just to recap, for those who don't know what the Creative Freedom Project was, it was something that um, I started and we collaborated, yourself along with probably 35 other female artists who we connect with you know furniture upcyclers um and you did a beautiful piece of work using another one of your um crafting talents mm. <laughs> so um people will be able to put a link into this so that everybody can see the original project yeah. um i'm delighted to say that all of that artwork is parceled up and ready to go into the refuge um obviously covid has been a bit an issue mm. and we've had to put safety first you know and, and likewise with this so it's perfect timing this beautiful chair will be able to go in at the same time as as the artwork and hopefully we'll be able to get some pictures yeah um, and that is for the charity Eden Links, who, although they're a Lincolnshire-based charity, as we know, um, they're providing respite and a safe haven to people from all over the country, which is probably even more important Absolutely. right now. Yeah, definitely. And it is more important right now. There's definitely more um, refuge being sought from domestic violence at the moment yeah. during lockdown when people are at home. But hopefully in the future we can we can donate more as well it's not it's not hopefully not going to just be this piece because we do get people we're going around people's houses collecting furniture and there's a there's a skip outside yes that's sometimes got furniture in that they're just going to throw away so why can't that go to good use and go to the refuge as well so so that's fantastic so if anybody's got some furniture at home yeah um as long as it's sturdy and as long solid. as it's sturdy and and for themselves as well yeah you know, what what should they do how should they get in touch with you to to find out whether they can do anything with it well, if it's for the, themselves, it doesn't necessarily have to be sturdy and solid. If it's falling okay. apart, that's yeah. absolutely fine. Um, if it's for if it is for the refuge and they do want to donate something, then that's that's absolutely fine. It's preferable that it is solid and yeah, sturdy. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, they can contact me through and send me photos, especially at the moment when I can't do home of visits course. because of yeah. COVID. Uh -huh. They can contact me through my business page, which is Harry and the Beagle. Okay. Or through Instagram, which is Harry and the Beagle underscore official. OK, so, perfect. Yeah. So on behalf of Eden Links and all of your other creative uh, colleagues who, who we've worked together, I'd just like to say a massive thank you for your extreme generosity and also huge thank you to um, LK Inks for the design as well. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Joe. No, it's no problem, no trouble.